don't want to get to try to do too much. You want to stay within your game plan and just moving the ball from side to side. If they can do that in the first couple of minutes where they can get comfortable, get that confidence. And this one poked away. Trevor Ariza will take it and dunk it. Ends at 10. And good hands by Kevin Herter. He keeps it away from none, and Herter will lay it in. Get out and run. Butler off the Adebayo screen. Robinson from the corner, and that's good. Using his arms to get free. Use your lower half. Yeah. Use those hips to push your, push your little guys out of the way. Yeah, you use your body. You use it. If you notice Demi Butler, early in the game, he doesn't look to score as much. He looks to get his guys going. And there's none knocks down another three. Just, just under 14 points a game. 15 to 10, Miami. Herder for three. Well, Jimmy Butler got a little confused there. Guys get snubbed on these Olympic teams and world teams. So, But I tell you what, guys, he would be a great pickup because he can guard multiple positions. Not only the bigs. 16 to 15. Bam to a wide open Kendrick Nunn. That cannot happen. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's a lot like Robin. Robinson. Nothing but net. Uh, what were you saying a second ago? The, okay, Vince. They call that a flame thrower. Okay, I get it. I get it. Shoot, I that's a shooter shooter. That's a shooter shooter. That's for sure. <laughs> Brandon Goodwin feeds Bogdanovic. And so is he. So is he. 22-20. <laughs> Butler over Gallo. That's for two, and that's Jimmy's first bucket of the game. Collins just motors right through two defenders and lays it in. Yeah, both of those guys just moved out of the way. And if it weren't for the otherworldly shooting of Steph Curry, these two guys would be going head to head at the top in the month just of April. Fine tuning the scope. That's all. Just fine tuning the scope. Got to get the first one up. Nathan Knight with the rebound. I Brandon Goodwin. When you get up in the air, too many bad things can happen. There's Nathan Knight finishing a dunk, and that gives Atlanta the lead. Oh, Lay in for Kendrick Nunn. Can score. Kendrick Nunn can score. He, yeah. He's a flat-out score. scorer. That was some, that's some points they put yes, on the board sir. there. Goodness. Final seconds, Lou. Nice pass, and Nathan Knight with a lay-in. None again. Good again. Well, he is rolling. Mm. He's, he's on fire. Yes, he is. Third three-pointer. You know how it is when you see the ball go in a couple of times. There it is. And you know, Hero did something that you really don't supposed to do. Don't bring the defense to a guy when he's in the cold area. Iguodala to the high post at Adebayo. And he just drives and scores. Tyler Hero. Got to the dotted line. And again, back he, in the holster. Again, he keeps getting in the air. And you're just getting yourself in trouble. He hits a three there, but. Puts Miami on top, 42-40. Gallo for three. Oh, saw that being set that up. Guy. Just pass. Not sure where he was going with that one. Herter intercepts. And it's an and one for Brandon Goodwin. Have any type of impact on this game so far either. And the three ball from Tyler Hero. Hill in the corner. Solo drives in. Count the basket. That's and a blocking foul on Hero. Bogdanovich. John out of the corner for three. Get in, in and out, back in. Kagu couldn't control it. Jimmy Butler with Bogdanovich backpedaling. Robinson. And that's going to be an and one for Miami. Collins right to the rim. Well, he was able to get one dribble to the basket and power it up. Ariza tries it from the right corner and successful there. Recovers the dribble against Herter. Duncan will drive and wow. throw it in. Yeah, he threw you up a prayer there that got an to live with that. Yeah, you got to live with that. Oh. Miami again with Butler. Spinorama gets it back wow. and lays it in. And a steal by Lou Williams. Lou takes it in on Butler. The reach, the lay in good. Going to work against Bogey. Bam, cross courts it. Ariza's three. Good.
Well, Bam, very patient on that play. There. Kendrick Nunn, hot to start the third quarter. That gives him four three-pointers for the night and 16. Power dribble, just go put the little fella in the basket, and he'll learn that as he gains more uh, minutes and experience. And I mean, again, short clock here for the Hawks. Velcro D by Nunn, but that does not stop Bogey. Still closing up to their guy, making it tough, but Bogey with an impressive three. Kevin Herter drains one, and the Hawks are right back within one. Nunn on the lob, it's broken up, but Bam's got it back and rolls it in. Bogdanovich. Boy, has he been on it this month? Period. Lead went away quick for Miami. Robinson. Come on. Come on. That's Duncan's third three. He's up to 14 point Reza. To Bam. Blocked from behind by Collins. Not to none for three. No, oh, this guy has been lights out. Unfamiliar territory where they have to make a tough decision. Bogdanovich. Collins. John slices through and scores a beautiful move. Butler, tough shot off the glass. Miami just continues to put pressure on the Hawks, shooting 60%. Gallinari, bingo. Again, you, you see Dwayne Detman, he's late on the switch. Out of a timeout, I don't think Spolster wanted that type of shot. Good one to Gallo. Count it! And there's Detman again. They usually play well against the Hawks is going Drogic. Follow is up and in by Dedman. Good one. Splits the defense and puts it in. What a big basket. The aforementioned Dragic to Tyler Hero. Gets in the paint and scores. Good one backs it out. Step back three. Swish! Oh, oh, oh. I think they play the best zone in the NBA. Gallo, though, gets inside, a ball fake, throws it up at all. Blue. Followed beautifully oh, by Brandon Goodwin. Timeout Miami. This is the same defense you saw from the Miami Heat at the beginning of the third quarter. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Fourth quarter, Lou. Fourth quarter, Lou. It's his time. Miami has had one basket that... Goran Dragic three-pointer in the last four minutes. Lou Will and another Miami timeout. Congo. Boy, the young man has played great. Here's the bounce. Here's Goody on the reverse, and the Hawks are blowing him out, folks. A lot of confidence in, in giving the Hawks a lift. When you get a chance to play the minutes that he's been playing, you know, those type of things are going to happen as Jimmy Butler get an and one opportunity there. Hawks, though. In control, Lou Will, good again. Ooh. Lou Will is in control. But this is his time. And you notice the difference now. These guys are getting through the screen. Early in, in the first quarter, oh, that was, I thought it was a charge. Bam gets the dunk. Yeah, got away with one there. He's a wonderful coach, old school type of mentality. You know, you know the thing is when you get the guys to respect you, Brandon Goodwin is in and out. Oh, but JC is right there, unchecked. 320 remaining in the fourth quarter. Hawks trying to nail this one down. Bogey gets out of the double. Solo will drive it. Solo will lay it up and in. Solo. Herter. Gets in, gets out. Collins. Johnny puts it up and in. Nice. Satisfying victory for Atlanta. A well-earned win for the Hawks. They Glow was not an all-star when he was on the Charlotte Hornets That's because he was popular, G. Focus. Ch Chauncey Billis was all-star. He shouldn't have never been an all-star. But he was a popular player. All-stars can be popular, right? The next thing is all-NBA. <laughs> Check that box. Right? And then you go to the boxes of individual accomplishment, being the best in the NBA at something. That's a check. Then that's when you start having conversations about championships. Once you check those other boxes, all stars has always been overrated in the NBA. It's like a, it's a celebration for fans to, to root for the players that they like all together. But it's a ton of all stars who never made an all NBA team, which means they was never the best player at their position. They was never a top three player at their position or offensively or defensively.
That's what's important. I don't care about the All Star team. Yao Ming is trash. <laughs> I will say this: Yao Ming got about five All Star appearances. He should not have. Yao Ming was All Star. Chauncey Billups got five years. All Star appearances, and I and I don't want to talk bad about Chauncey, but Chauncey is a career thirty nine percent from the field, totally inefficient. Chauncey got thirty nine percent for his career. What? Like, why would Chauncey Billups? Chauncey Billups shot thirty eight percent from the field at times. Chauncey Billups shot forty percent from the field. Chauncey Billups. I don't even know.